know what specifications the hardware has in order to uh, to yeah write software that can actually make reliable sense of the input data because otherwise it's input uh, it's garbage in garbage out which you don't want so that's that's where uh, that's where the difference is and where if you have software you need to know what uh, how to work with the data that uh, that that the uh, that the sensors that you use generate and if you choose like for example an iphone camera for that then you need to know what an iphone camera can do in order to know if your software can draw valid conclusions off of it and that's that's completely logical i mean this 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 shouldn't shouldn't be a shock to people because if you i don't know if you would if you would make an active device yourself to measure you would also need to know that it actually measures